Okay, now I'm doing a fat fingered. Ooh, encoding is overloaded. No, it seems fine. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, I'm trying a live, what you call it, a uh, stream. I want to try out a, a. What am I talking about? So I saw that uh, Magit released this transient mode, which is going to replace uh, Magit pop up. So, and I want to try it out. So first thing, I'm going to reinstall Magit. And it says here that then it uses the Melpa version. And the Melpa snapshot is already there. So let's try it out. I want to see what this... From what I've read, it doesn't seem like it's going to change how much we use Magit. So uh, first thing, let's go in my menu. Come on, guys. Okay, so now what we want to do is I want to remove my get and reinstall it. Move. Great. I get. And then we're going to do package auto. Auto remove. So that way we'll get all the newer versions. So let's just go and we'll search for my git. Where it is here. My git. There you go. Okay. Now if I do this again. That should give me the newest version of my git, hopefully. I, I saw this just download the transient EL. I'm still downloading other stuff. Did it finish? Oh, and for some reason, this doesn't seem to be streaming. Back. Okay, yep, okay, so the stream is working. It looks a bit junky, but whatever. Okay, yeah, what did he complain about? Okay, hopefully it's still gonna work. So let's see if everything just works like normal. So what we did before my binding was, and we got Magit. Looks the same. Now, but usually I would get the pop up. So, if that help. Looks the same type of thing. So let's just stage files and see what we, what we got here. Stashes, merged. Didn't have anything really changed here. So. Let's make a stupid change so I can see it. Whoa. Okay, so that's stage that. And this should be the new um, transient mode. I don't know why doesn't it show up in the bottom? Whoa. So this is weird. Oh, so this, he took over the mini buffer here. How am I supposed to scroll this? Did that help? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's offer an empty commit. Hmm. Oh, so let's do that. Yeah, no, that's not what I wanted. So if I do minus E, okay, allow the empty. It seems to be working the same way. Um, it's only that we don't have, now it's, in, it's kind of taken over the mini buffer. Uh, commit. No, I don't want to do that. So it'll be canceled. So this isn't my git set, so try that again. Commit. Uh, if we do minus E and minus big C, sure, why not? And minus S. Now, you see there's this different looking, I think it's showing me that they conflict. Now, if we do meta next, so you can get the, uh, you can cycle through the history, which is neat. And, okay, let's just quit that. With a, that was a control G like everything else. And let's try, let's try, let's see if anybody's actually watching this thing. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at branching. Branching, do what I mean. Spin off branch. No branch. Where, where do I check out a branch now? The checkout branch is not here. Let's see, do what I mean. Check out. Okay, that's check out. Yeah, let's see what that was actually supposed to do, though. So that's how you did uh, branch. Okay, press H, control H, and D. Okay, my get checkout is interactive. Check out revision. No, that didn't help. Type a key to show the help for that suffix command. So, B. Not sure what that was supposed to do. Um, say H local. No. Branch. What is it? Uh, control H local. A new existing local branch. Okay, so this seems like what the branch used to do before. Um, so what merge does. Merge, absorb, what is that thought? Merge don't commit. So the thing that I've seen is that the person using uh, mod NMP, you can cycle through what you've done. Uh, let's see, what about log. Now this graph decorate show signatures. Okay, this, it gets cut off at the bottom. How do I got the scroll bar here? Uh, this right. Which is not good. I got to cut off. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to use that. So I can do minus O. So, uh, so that'll toggle from them. Okay, and we got graph, we got color. Let's get that color on there too. Okay, let's do all branches, see what's going on here.
Okay. Um, so I think that probably the biggest differences here are going to be um, I wasn't recording it. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, hopefully the stream worked. Uh, the biggest difference is here. I see that it uses the mini buffer instead of um, a different instead of making a different buffer. Uh, for and the being able to cycle through the history is neat. Um, you can, from what I read from the documentation before, you can create your own type of commands and things like that, which could be useful in the future, but. And for now, uh, I don't see so much, so much different from uh, using regular my pop pop-up. So uh, I think it's probably most of the stuff is going to be under the hood in the code, which is going to be the big difference. Okay, so that's that. Um, everybody that's watching on live stream, let me know if this is everybody, all two of you. Uh, let me know if this is something I should do again. And, uh, and that's it for now. Call to.